Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have a foundation review for you guys today and it is on the CoverGirl Clean Whipped Cream Foundation. I decided to pick up the color in 365 because in CoverGirl's Nature Looks Foundation I am color 365. I was really curious about this foundation. It is new. You can find it at CVS, Walgreens and Walmart. Those are the places that I have found it. Now on CoverGirl's website they say that it's a new lightweight whipped cream foundation. It gives your skin a boost of moisture without greasy shine finish. You love the dreamy 100% breathable formula that leaves your skin looking smooth, natural, and matte. And they say that it's available in 10 shades to match your skin tone. In terms of direction for putting it on, they do say that you're going to use a disposable sponge, wedge, or your fingertips. Dab a small amount of the foundation onto the center of your cheeks and spread outwards. Okay, so let me talk a little bit about this before I show you in terms of the coverage. Um, I did get to try this out. I will say that it's not a matte finish. This, I would say, is more of a satin finish, I would say. Um, if you're combination oily skin like me, you're going to need a setting powder for this. I have been using the Cover FX setting powder. This is in the matte setting powder from Cover FX. It goes on a color that I was like, wait, what is this? But then it oxidized to my skin color. It is light, I will give them that. It is very light. It feels natural on the skin, but this is not a foundation that I would say you're gonna glam up to. This is medium, it's like, it's medium coverage to me. But you can build it up if you like to, but just to keep it natural looking, I just build it up to where I could cover most of the scars and blemishes on my face, but then you can still see the darker ones peeking through if you understand what I'm saying. So it is a nice foundation, but it's not something that I would say, oh my gosh, this is holy grail. I'd say this is a foundation that, you know, you're going out to eat lunch with your friends, or you're just gonna hang around the house, if you're gonna just step outside for a minute, go to the store, browse the mall, that kind of thing. That's what this is for. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking and get right into showing you how I put this on. I just take a little bit on my sponge, not a lot. And I start from the inside. And I know you're looking at it and you're like, Alex, this is not your color. And that's exactly what I said when I started putting it on. But then it oxidized, like I said, and it matched me and it was pretty nice. It goes on smooth, really cool feeling. just goes a long way. You don't need a lot of it. And at this point, I'm just going over the places that I know I need some extra coverage, so I'm just patting the foundation into the skin but you can stop wherever you like with this but you sat here and you saw it oxidize almost immediately into my skin so don't be afraid of it if you see it it did oxidize literally it looks like a shade darker than it oxidized to Not severe dark circles but if you got a little bit of dark circles like I do this does a good job of covering those as well if you've got combo skin like I do you're gonna need a setting powder for this foundation so what I do is I just take my cover effects powder I take a little bit into 
the actual thing of the jar. You don't need a lot. I take my Real Techniques, this is my powder brush from Real Techniques, and I just place it into the pan, swirl it around, tap off any excess in there. I also use the back, like this side of my hand, to get off any more powder. <laughs> And then I just press it into my skin. I don't move it around because I don't want the foundation to move. Swirl, tap, and just press this into my skin. Completes my review and demo of the CoverGirl Clean Whipped Cream Foundation. I will say that it is light. It is nice and compact, throw in your purse kind of foundation. Um, they've got, like I said earlier, a variety of shades in this. I am shade number 365, even though it oxidized. So I'm thinking that's probably what they were going for, that oxidization to match your skin tone. But um, if you're not into foundations that oxidize, I'd say don't bother with it. Again, for my combination, oily skin people, we're gonna need a setting powder for this if you're interested in it. So just be prepared for that. This is not a foundation you can just throw on out the door and do not set, you gotta set it. Um, and it's really light. It does a good job of matching me once it has oxidized. Um, coverage, it's not all that great. I say the biggest thing about the CoverGirl Clean Whipped Cream Foundation is that it evens you out. Like I think that's the major thing with this. Not so much coverage, but just evening up the skin tone. This is one of those foundations that, you know, you're at home lazing around, you just want to throw it on. Just in case, you know, your mom or your significant other, anybody just is like, you know, you have to go to this place and you can just jump up and go and something is already on your skin. You don't got to be rushing around putting on foundation. So that's really what I think this is for. But I do hope you guys found this foundation review and demo helpful. If you've got any more questions, put them down in the comment section. I'll go ahead and answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing if you have. Bye.